Sup, dogs, and welcome to a game made by Crex Games. Surrogate. So, about the developer, he spent a long time viewer here on the Theody channel. He's been working on this game for about a year, maybe a little bit over that. And I gotta say, he did a lot of, a lot of, a lot of great job with putting this thing together. And I'm kind of excited to see how it is. So far, I'm liking it. Please report any bugs or glitches. Thank you. <laughs> Headphones are recommended. Okay. Who plays a horror game without the headphones these days? It's like, come on. Yeah, if you're with friends, but if you're alone, come on. Another after another day of me working overtime at work, due to the same person calling in with the same tired excuse, I was finally heading home. Blech. Same person, same excuse. Ready to just reheat some leftovers from the night before. Sit on the couch and watch some trash TV. Then finally go to bed. Yeah. I love the American dream. Poor fella. After being on the road for about 10 to 15 minutes, the weather decided to give me a hard time. But I'd driven the same road for years. So as long as I drive a little slower and be more cautious, I should be home before too long. And then, ba -da -ba -ba boom. That was until I came across a tree in the middle of the road, more than likely fallen from the storm, but it was reaching from one side of the road to the other, so I couldn't ride past it. Oh no, my man, what will you do? Almost as if the clouds were parting to give me a little ray of hope, there was a detour I could drive down in the hopes that it was a way out around. So instead of taking a longer route home, I turn on to the detour. I don't know if that's a good idea, man. I don't know. Now, for the years of me heading home this way, I've not once went down that road, so it was totally new to me. This being such a rural area, I was getting no signal on my phone. So here's hoping that I didn't find myself stuck in the end. After almost an hour of me driving along the same stretch of road, Needless to say, my anxiety started to rise. At this point, I would be happy just running across a house. That way, I could stop and ask for directions. Almost as if my wish was granted, a long driveway came into view. And what's even better, the gates seemed to open. <coughs> Almost as if I was expected. Music by Jared Y. Oh, nice, my man. <laughs> Making use of the zoom in plug in. I still have a quarter tank left. I should be fine. Oh, Jesus, how long have you been driving for? Oh, okay. This dude's been going on for ages if he only has a quarter tank left. Or not. I shouldn't be in the streets. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be, you'll be fine. <laughs> Nothing spoopy or suspicious going on. It feels like you're in an abandoned area. A beat up trash can. Looks still heavily used. I want to check out the other trash can, but ugh, can't go into the streets. <laughs> the dude grew up, uh, he must have grew up learning the hard way. It's the only reason a grown man wouldn't go on the streets. Oh. Damn, that's cinematics. <laughs> wow, this house is huge. Alright, I better see if anyone's home. Oh, I like it. It's, it's an interesting use of the zoom-in feature. Not often for cinematics like this. Right off the bat. A grave must be a family pet. Cool. Or feels bad. Alright, is there another door here? Oh, that must be the garage, and this must be the door. No sprint. Ugh. It's for the cinema. I get it. I hope that somebody is awake. I would really feel bad if I woke someone up at this late at night. Well, here goes nothing. Ding-a-bring-a-dong. Nothing? They maybe didn't hear it. I guess I'll try one more time. Oh. ding a bring a dong Nothing. Yeah, they must be a-a-so. I don't know what that means. 
Um, hi. Sorry to bother you, miss. Uh, do, do you happen to know a way through these back paths to get to the highway leading to Interstate 32? You need directions? Uh, yeah, just to get back to the highway. Huh, yes, I know how. But please, do come in. You're drenched. Uh. Alright. <laughs> that immediate smile. Uh. Alright. <laughs> My name's Nancy, by the way. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Nancy. I'm Frank. Just have a seat. I'll have your directions written down in just a moment. Okay. Wow, so polite. But in the meantime, I just got done making our family a famous tea. Care for some? Ah, oh, sure. Sure thing. Great. Just wait here. I'll be back in a moment. So, Nancy, do you live alone? Do you have kids? A husband? Or are you single? Mm -mm, she seems nice. A little odd, but nice. Yeah, I guess a little bit odd. She's way too kind. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm probably just tired. Ugh, I don't know. Probably just tired. That's probably how he meant to say it. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Try it. You take a sip first, missy. I fainted just now, didn't I? I got knocked out cold. Damn it, Nancy. Never trust a girl named Nancy. That's just it. This just in. They ever offer you anything? Nope. Just nope it real hard. Wait for them to take their sip first. And then take the sip from their class. <laughs> what the hell? Where am I? In an attic? I, I need to get out of here. I need to calm down. <sighs> okay. Just need to find a way out and get to the police. Oh god. Oh god. Some doctor's papers. So here must have been to the hospital. <laughs> or she just kindly left it there for you. <laughs> 8 a.m.? I hope this time is wrong. Oh no. Oh no. Worst kidnapper in the world. Giving me the wrong time of day? An antique painting showing a pink flower. Damn it. It's locked from the inside. Guess I have to find another way out. What will you do, man? Ah! Ah! How'd you push the box like that? Some doctor's papers. Someone must have been into the hospital. Oh, I'm supposed to climb that. I get it now. <laughs> Anything cool about this thing? How about this painting? Oh yeah, I already talked to the painting. Anything sneaky in there? No? Alright, up we go. Oh, ho, you saw that? He kind of just grasped it with one hand and then yeeted him on top. <laughs> Dude is dope. Frankie free. Damn, these uh these vents are very windy. I'm not going to fit in there. Oh. I mean he managed to fit this far in, which I'm pretty impressed with. I, I can't see down there. What kind of giant drop of coin oh wow. What kind of how big is this building that they need giant ventilations like these? Jump down? Alright, yeah, sounds doable. It was not doable. pope. It was not doable. pope. Damn it. I needed save stations. <laughs> no. No, look, they even tell me it's here. Be sure to save. God damn it, me. Yeah, you hear that? That's not good. <laughs> I need the escape button. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I screwed myself far beyond all possibilities. <laughs> Be sure you have this stuff on auto run and not parallel process. That should do the trick for you. <laughs> and there it was. Alright, and we are in it, baby. Here we go. The other thing I wanted to mention, if you look really closely to above his head, you can see a little bit of pixels, mostly when I'm moving up direction. So there's just a little bit of a cutoff in your character sheet. And I think this direction too. You can see it ever so slightly. Also in that direction, huh? Anyways. It's not too biggie. That's that's an easy fix. I already tried there. I died. Heck no. <laughs> We're going up. 
So the coin trip doesn't really seem to work, huh? I guess it fits. Well, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Coin trick, coin trick. Too long. Hell no. <laughs> because, hell no. <laughs> Acceleration, yes. You can actually calculate it. It's very easy math because we know the acceleration of the earth 9.8 meters per second squared and all you gotta do is count the seconds that it takes for it to fall down and then BAM you know the distance jeez it's so dark all right this one sounds safe let's go that one's about a floor or two a bathroom doesn't sound like it's being used hope this means I'm not too far from the exit all right. Hey, you need a pee or poop real quick. You 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 were sleeping for maybe a whole day. It's eight a.m. I don't know what time you went home, but I would assume you'd leave before ten p.m. Or hopefully, if not, the damn man, Frank, your life sucks. <laughs> well, they got nice uh, little portraits all over the place. It makes me wonder if it's of her or the family head. And back in the days, I think this is a fuse box. Well, I don't need no fuse box. I just need out of here. It's a photo of Nancy. Looks dated. Bunch of cheap fake decoration flowers. <laughs> Nancy sure is an odd one, huh? A bunch of doctor's papers. I see some information on a miscarriage. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Am I... <laughs> Am I her secret child? <laughs> Probably not. That'd be insane, though. I'll be like, what? No way. I'm saving often. Nothing is safe in this place. I, I see the beginning. I died. <laughs> so I'm gonna tread carefully. Oh, Tim. I couldn't be happier about our new boy. He sure is handsome. Young fella, ain't he? Boy, are you talking about me? And with the softest head of hair I've seen. Almost like James' hair when he was a child. Holy cr These guys are psycho. Wait, who's James? Is he here too? Is he my thumb? I need to get the hell out of here. Aw, oh, man. These are some interesting uses of a zoom the camera. <laughs> Plug in, however you want to put it, and it is absolutely dope. Alright, so I'm pretty sure you could take down an old man and a lady. Come on, you got this, dude. Wreck him. Wreck him. <laughs> Don't hurt him, Tim. How'd you get down here? Oh, God. <laughs> you must be one of those Uncle Iroh types. <laughs> Post jail. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I, I'm gonna go back there in case we needed to trigger a cutscene. I don't know. And there's also a possibility that we could go. No, we can't go down. They'll see me. They'll see me pretty easy. So, nope it on out. I can't nope on out. I can't nope on out. Oh, wait, I can nope over here. Ho ho! Bagara! People talking to each other in the darkness. This is why you leave the light on. What was that? Hide. Oh. Oh. It's the most cliche place to hide in. So hopefully it works. Hmm. I guess I'm just hearing things, Nancy. Yeah, that's right. You just heard things. <laughs> They wouldn't suspect a thing if I was just the little voice in his head. That was too close. I need to get out of here. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Dang these rich folks. All I wanted was some directions home. These papers date from years ago. About multiple miscarriages. Saying she's infertile. This must be referring to Nancy. Is this why they're keeping me hostage? They want me to be their son? Dude, you're like the same age of her. How does that make sense? 
No! If you're a child, then yeah, I understand it. But never have I ever met any, any uh, lady who wants a child that's roughly her age. I'm dead. Just do it. Say it. Oh, hey. I'm not dead. What the heck? Ugh. My head. Ugh. Oh, God. This is like a, one of those special type of game overs. There has to be hope. Oh! Besides a few books, nothing seemed to be in here. A few t-shirts. Thing, but dust. I guess that is it. I guess I'm truly trapped. But have you checked anything else? It looks like there'll be some antique books. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Someone cares about me. Nancy, is that you? Are these the maps to get home? <laughs> I can help you escape if you take me with you. I'll lock the door with the key and go right. I'm in the next room. Please, I need your help. Oh. Oh. What if this is a trap? You never know. They could just be in it for themselves and they're just going to be like, See, you don't need him. You only need me as your child. It's possible. It's possible. Are you the one that came in the middle of the night asking for directions? Uh, yeah. So, do you know why they're keeping you here? Aside from them being batshit crazy, not really. I know I heard them calling someone their son and then, then someone describing me. I also heard them talk about someone named James. Is that you? I, I am. So that would make you Frank. Right, so were you kidnapped as well? No. I'm their child. Well, their biological one anyway. <laughs> My mom, the woman you met, has had issues with miscarriages for years, but after years of trying, she gave birth to me. Although, there were still complications. I was born with spinal muscular atrophy when I was born, which pretty much leaves me in a weakened state. Tim, my father, being as old-fashioned as he is, oh god. Yeah, he's quite old-fashioned, man. <laughs> Didn't want a weak son to carry on the family line. So they tried to have another son, but it never worked. When they had me, the doctor said that due to complications in childbirth, my mom would no longer be able to have any more kids. That seemed to eat away at Tim. He began to spend more time away from me and mom. When he was around, he, he would lock me in my room and do even worse to mom. After a while, this just became a norm for us. By the time I was in my teens, he started spending more time in his workshop. I never knew what he was doing, but mom always said that that's his happy place too. Never disturbed him when he was in there. One day, he came to dinner with a smile on his face and told mom he had an idea. I was sent to bed early after dinner and they went to the workshop. C curiosity getting the better of me, I, I, I snuck down there to eavesdrop in on them. That's when I heard Tim say that they were going to hold someone here and train him to be the perfect son. And sadly, I think that's you. Jeez. L listen, I, I know you didn't... You, you don't know me, but... I, I think I have a plan to get us out of here. Us? Yes. I, I don't want to be here either anymore. And, and I'm sure you don't either. Why can't we just go out the door? Have you seen what Tim has done to this house? He has his place locked down. But... I do know where we can find the keys to the door. You see, me being here all my life, I, I've been keeping an eye for ways to get out of here. And I, I finally got a place to get out, but there's no way I'm going to be able to do it by myself. That, that's where you come in. If it will get me out of here, then I'm all ears. Good. The front door has a two-way lock, meaning it can be locked from both sides. Uh, along with an attached lock on top. No, Tim has taken your car keys. T Tim being Tim, he, he, 
he more than likely put them in his workshop. So all you have to do is go to Tim's workshop and get your keys and I have the locations of where the door keys are. It will be hard to explain where they will be so I will just draw a rough map of where they would be. If you would be so kind, gr gr grab my notebook on my bed. Here you go man. So thanks. Give me one moment. Here you are. Draw a map. The room that has a green check is the kitchen. That's that's where I've seen the first key for the door, and the green dot is where you are. I would just you need just need you to go to the kitchen and search around for the key. And when you get it, report back here, and I'll give you the location for the second key. Why not just give me the location of all the other keys, and I'll get both while I'm out. The, the, what's to stop you from leaving without me? I, I can barely walk, let alone fight. So I couldn't make it f far on my own. So, so when you come back, I'll give you the location of the second key. And I'll be leaving with you. All right, fair enough. Yeah, that that that's legit. Sounds about right. <laughs> I was totally thinking that in the back of my head too. It's like, ooh, search for keys. I'm out of here the moment I get it. <laughs> but he was on to me. He was on to me from the start. God damn it. James. God dang it. Wait. Yeah? You, you can't just go and grab the key. You know she's going to be around cleaning. And if she catches you, she, she will let Tim know. And Tim's always usually hanging out in his room. So I wouldn't roam too much. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. Ha! <laughs> Easy. It's called being sneaky using the powers of Juke. Simple. Just straight up simple. Damn. I know you gave me a map and all, but I want to explore. How bad can it be? How bad can it be? Nice clock, by the way. Is it really 8 a.m.? <laughs> I feel like that's the important thing you gotta know. Oh, wait, yeah, duh, that's where I came from. <laughs> Alright, so accordingly, the key is off to the far left. There's no getting it, it open. It has two locks keeping it closed. But that's this isn't even the room that I entered in. Where's the room that I entered in? Door is locked. Damn, I want to know. What are you doing here, boy? God damn it. I was kind of hoping I could sneak right past you. Oh, that would have been so cool if there was a sneak option. <laughs> I like how the only option is main menu. <laughs> There's no other choice. God damn it. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Was it this room that I tried? Yeah, it was hell no. Get out of there. <laughs> Okay, I know we're not supposed to explore it, but I just can't help myself, you guys. Oh hey, this was where I was locked up in. I remember this. And then here's the power generator, which for some reason is noted there. I wonder if I'll have to turn it off. I mean, the lights already are pretty dang dim. So I'm like, not even that scared. Where do you think uh, Nancy is at? It's just somewhere out around here. I checked the top, but I never checked the bottom. I have a feeling that this is where the key is. Because it pointed all the way on the far end. Only to not be there. God dang it. Unless it was up here all along, and that's the main reason why Tim came searching around for me. Noopy doopy. Alright, let's see where we're at. Okay. Uh, we went up. Oh, okay. So, I know where we are. We were on that far left. Up, far left. Which means we want to go back. Kind of wish he had like a speed walk. Like, I understand it's meant for the. Immersion, but 
a nice little speed walk wouldn't hurt, especially when I'm just looking for keys. And especially if I'm trying to sneak around. A novel written by Nancy. It's about a girl from the medieval times. Interesting. Do I smell... Sequel? <laughs> or... New game? <laughs> Seems to be red wine. Quality red wine at that. Oh, dude. Go ahead, just take it. Gulp. Can you jump her? Can you jump her, my dude? Tim! Oh. Oh. Why couldn't you have just jumped her? <laughs> I didn't even get a game over for that one. It was just Tim. God damn it. Can we go down? Damn, I was kind of hoping. Alright, so what's the strat here? How do we break away, huh? Can't talk. Can I step next to you? Hey there. <laughs> Most oblivious person in the world. <laughs> oh my god. That was terrifying. <laughs> I swear we made eye contact for a quick second. We seriously made eye contact. Uh, how did she not catch me? There's a few boxes and some paper towels. There's the drug D I had last night. I can't believe I trusted her. Some of them bits of towels. Some tape, a lighter, and oh, found it. Da -da 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 -da. There's no need for me to go in the fridge. Aren't you at least a little bit hungry? You've been there for a quite some while. Some antique cups and mugs. Alright. I think this is a good time to save. In a different slot. We don't know. We don't know what may occur afterwards. Alright. So good news is that she's not around here. Because if she was, ooh, that would have sucked. So I gotta head back. Give you the dang key. So you can update the map with the second key. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Didn't even hear me coming. I want to check out the other side, but let's first get this updated. In case it's a two bird, one stone sort of situation. Yes, I almost got caught by Nancy, but I got it nonetheless. Okay, this is going great. But the second key is going to be a little bit more tricky. I remember seeing the key in Tim's room one day. But the, uh, the only problem is, he's in his room most of the day working, so to just barge in there would be suicide. Huh. Well, well I, I, th I think of a way to do this. Y you should go get your c car keys from Tim's workshop. Alright. Let me mark it on your map real quick. Okay, here you go. The gr green check is the workshop. Search around f for your car keys and report back from here when you're done. By the time you get back, I, I should have a plan. Alright, will do. Of course I go over report back. You, you don't trust me that much just to, to say that I have to report back? <laughs> it's more like... I don't have knowledge for the second key. Or an idea to, I guess, trick Tim. So of course I'll be back. God dang it, Tim. He's lived a harsh life. That's the only reason why. Just some papers, work papers, showing Tim's sales. Oh, really? What kind of salesman would he see? Period. <laughs> Organized car boats in different size wrenches. Nothing else. A bunch of miscellaneous car parts. Oh, is he like a car mechanic sort of per salesperson? Selling car parts all day? Just screws. Found it. Car keys. You think someone's going to come in? Oh, that would be so awkward if someone did. An ordinary printer seems to be used daily. Alright, let's get out of here. Before he uh, kicks that door in my face. That's one of the things I fear most while playing a sneaking game. If you're at the door and they just slam it on your face like that. <laughs> I got the car keys. Any ideas for a second key? I got something in mind. The only problem it requires you to, to be quick and stealthy. So the power in this place is fairly old, and with that, it tends to cut off sometimes, or randomly. If you go to the basement where the fuse box is, to throw out the main switch, it should turn off the power. Tim will have to leave his room in order to fix it. 
that's, that's when you sneak upstairs and get the second key. How am I going to see when the power goes out? I was, I was just getting to that. Here's a flashlight. Take this. Flashlight. Okay. This will do fine. How do I mark the basement on your map? And here's T Tim's room. Oh, no worries. I know exactly where he is. Okay, the, the green check is the basement and the red check is Tim's room. Alright, I got this. Good luck, Frank. Yeah, don't you worry. I'll be back for you. I will be back for you. Yeah, I can totally just get out now. <laughs> I got my car keys. <laughs> he didn't plan it thoroughly enough. There's always a way to escape without you. Going this way is dangerous. I should go the longer way. Uh oh, just because Nancy went up there? Okay. Yeah, I, I guess I should check out the map. Since he went through all the efforts of updating that. Ah, oh, that's cool. He does a little scribble on it. <laughs> nice. Alright, long way we go. To as it turns out, Nancy's in this room. Oh, how deceitful would that be? Damn it, they took the cable. They must have took it when I got caught. Oh, that's pretty smart. I mean, I'm not a kidnapper. I would never think of doing such things. D, D, stuff your room. Words, yes. D, call 911. Escape your, your house. <laughs> Pretty genius. I guess this is the fuse box James was talking about. To cover off? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Flip the switch. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, hello. Not this shit again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 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 easy. When do I uh, get out, though? Now, what the hell is wrong with it this time? Do I just eat out? I pressed the space button. I pressed it again. Oh. Damn, here I thought he just switched the switch. Frick, I'm going to have a heart attack. Better start using the flashlight James gave me. Oh, damn, that was OP the moment it flashed on. Oh, oh, spicy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We gotta figure out our way. Uh, this is this room. Oh god, I gotta go fast. Quick and stealthy. I better hurry. I feel like I don't have much time left. Oh god, is that a sign to save? Well, I just did. Nothing? She got some nice t-shirts. Damn, they're well organized. Ah, oh, key, I gotta focus. Oh, damn, those are some nice shirts and pants. <laughs> Tim's beer. Doesn't surprise me that he's a drinker. Yeah, me neither. It was in here all along. It's locked, though. Ah, oh, man, I'm gonna have to find a key for that one. Chewing tobacco in Tim's wallet, but no key. So pictures of Tim and Nancy from a long time ago. Nothing else. Oh, they were such a cute couple until Tim went awry. Tim's jacket and a few other coats. Nothing else. For what I can see. Only organized t-shirts. Not Nancy's though, so I don't care. Organized shirts. Something else. Wait, what do you mean something else? Oh, nothing else. I was like, what do you mean? Tim shoes. Nancy shoes. Empty. God, there's a lot of nothing in here. Socks. Organize. The order in a few boxes. Tim's dress shirts. Just Tim's suits. What? Is it in here? Bunch of is in. The second key. God damn it. I looked through all their stuff for no reason. Alright. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I wanna know what's in here though. It's locked though. But I gotta know what's in there. There's clearly. Oh, he's writing non fictions. Oh, he just reads non fictions. Gotcha. Tim's papers. It's for his job. Seems like he's a salesman. Of what kind though? He's gotta have some sort of receipts. Oh no. Oh no. Tim is more than likely going to check on me. I better get back to the room and quick. Uh, uh, uh. 
Get back to the room, man. What you doing? Just taking your time. Come on. Speed walk, baby. I better lock the door. Oh, damn. You're smart. I would have totally forgot that and just yeeted myself in bed. I was just gonna be sitting there and like... Uh, uh. Sorry about the power outage. It happened every now and then. <laughs> Most awkward situation ever. <laughs> oh, Frankie. Frankie, 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 you cannot. <laughs> you cannot pretend, can you? <laughs> that was too close. Dude just walks up to you. Oh, yeah, this happens all the time. Meanwhile. <laughs> I should go tell James I got the key. James, we're getting out of here. We are getting out of here. Did you get the second key? I got it, but Bartley. Oh my god. I can't believe you did it, Frank. I can't believe it myself. <laughs> I'm actually getting to get out of here. I've been here all my life wondering what it's like to be a normal human being. Seeing people on TV getting to could go to work, could go to parties, get to have friends, and, and I'm finally about to experience that. Save the talk for when we're out of here. Sorry, I just got a little carried away. You're fine. Let's just get out of here. Wait, I have one more thing to tell you. Oh, well, Tim has a shotgun upstairs in his room. If something happens, this will be our last resort. Ooh. You really couldn't have given me this earlier? We don't need anyone to die, plus we are already done. Ugh, oh, right. Shark of the Coast was clear right quick. I think we're getting out of here. No problem. Nah, dude, I'm hunting them. <laughs> Teach them to be crazy. Uh, why do I get the feeling that I got two different endings right now? One where I take the shotgun, one where I just eat the hell out of here. Let's go. Damn it. <laughs> All right, seems good. We're ready. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Do I not take James with me? <laughs> James? Sorry, my man, but I guess I'm out of here. Just gotta pay respects to your dead pet first. Oh, so sad. All right, let's get out of here. I'm outside. I should be running for my life. Nah, that's crazy talk. You gotta enjoy the scenery. <laughs> my greatest escape. Got the story written in my head and everything. I guess it wasn't really 8 a.m., huh? Can you still cross the street? Oh my god, you can cross the street now. Crazy. Am I really just gonna go out? <laughs> Later, James. Don't worry, I'll come back with help. I think once you hit a certain age in life, you have complete rights to run away from home or whatever. I don't really know. I don't know anything. As crazy as this experience was, I managed to get out. I got in the car as fast as I could and drove the hell out of there. First place I went was the police. I reported Tim and Nancy. Okay, there we go. Now I wish I could say my story has the stereotypical happy ending with both of them behind bars. But no such luck. Damn it. As soon as the police got there, the house was already engulfed in flames. Along with any proof of what I have been through. And what's more, the police never found Tim or Nancy. Or James. So he's still with them. I shouldn't have left him there. But I just wanted to get help as soon as I could. But in the end, it didn't matter. They are still out there. I know that they may try again, but this time, I'm just glad I wasn't there. So, sir, again. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Funny story. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. I found it interesting. I really like the cinematics that you put in this. I think that, among all, what carried this game 
to be very, very enjoyable. Like, seeing this, this is awesome. This is really cool. The music, the sound effects, also really awesome. Art's not too bad either. It fits the characters and everything. Voices of James? Wait, he had voices? They had voices? I didn't hear any voices. What? What? What kind of voices do they make? Overall, nice job though. We're definitely going to go back and get that shotgun just to see how much things change. But first impression, it's cool. It's cool. The only thing I would change is with saving, do either... <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're too kind, man. You're too kind. <laughs> so a little bit of detail is that they found my channel thanks to my old tutorial series. And it helped them... Uh, getting a start in the RPG Maker engine. So that's the story that went with a special thanks there. <laughs> but what I wanted to say is that with saving, for this type of game, uh, where you have deaths, death around any possible corner, the best way to go about that is with one of two features, either an autosave or save stations. If you don't want to deal with autosaves because autosaving can be a little bit tricky sometimes, like the player can end up in one location and they can screw themselves where their save will reset them back to a part where they will be in a death loop. So you don't want that to happen. Then go with save stations. Seems as if the coast is clear. I should report back to James. Oh. Oh. But what about shotgun? Are there three endings? <gasps> Mind blown! Oh good. Let's go. Will do. Oh god, he's so slow. Wait, where are you going? Dude, <laughs> do you forget how to escape your own house? Alright, you go first. Alright, come on, I'm getting nervous. Open the door. Oh, right. Where's your car, Frank? It's in front of the gate, in the road. Just keep close. Okay, S sorry, I'm, I'm just nervous. Uh, okay, let's go. Hey, tell me about your pet that's dead to the right, though. Wait, Frank. Hey, I, I forgot my ch Oh, now he moves fast? No. You gotta be... Ah! It's his life. I get it. You want to be able to write the story? I mean, I guess I'll just wait. You will just wait? You will just wait? Ah, uh, dude. Jeez, should I be worried? Hell yeah, you should be worried. Go back in there. The dudes. There you go. Oh god, no, James. Leave or save James. <sighs> Obviously, I'm going back for James. I feel like the story could change again if I leave. Oh. Oh. Four endings. Oh my god. This is not good. Where did you get that shotgun James was talking about? <laughs> Thank God they didn't see me. <laughs> Thank God this health was crappy. <laughs> Either that, or our buddy Frank here. Ooh, Stealth Master 99. Leave without ammo? Oh, jeez. Where's ammo? Uh... Uh, ammo, 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 ammo. <laughs> no, it's not time to flip and admire his salesman work or his nonfiction novel. Look for that ammo, my man. Where is the ammo? Is it in here? Uh, now I'm smelling five different endings. God damn it. I already know what's in here. None of it's ammo, but you don't know. And the ammo! Ah! Let's do it, BB. Let's do it. Get your hands off of him! Ah! Protagonize. Let him go now, Tim! 
Unless you want your damn brain splattered on the wall, I suggest you listen. <laughs> Kicks him over. Uh, let's just go, Frank. Nah, dude, you came back for your diary. What are you doing? You gonna slap him or something? <laughs> We're getting your dang diary, man. Move back. Sorry. <laughs> Move back. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You ain't doing anything. And you, you're useless. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's go. Can't believe you forgot your dang journal. And what do you do? You leave without it just because you got caught. Come on. Just get it. We went through all the trouble. I know you're feeling embarrassed and all that. But prioritize. Prioritize your needs for your future. Frank, be sure to wait for me. We made it, man. Oh god, he, he doesn't know how to cross the street. <laughs> He's never stepped a foot out door. He's like, ah, what's this? A road. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, this is dope. Several different endings, each very different than one another. And that was it. It's crazy how this experience was. Me and James managed to get out. Frankly, <laughs> he said his own name. I'm glad I decided to threaten and not shoot Tim. No one needed. No one needed to die. Well, when we went outside, we got in the car as fast as we could and drove the hell out of there. First place we went was the police, and we reported Tim and Nancy. Now I wish I could say my story has a stereotypical happy ending with both of them behind bars, but no such luck. As soon as the police got there, Gulfed in flames, god damn it! Never found Tim and Nancy, so they are still out there. Now, well, any sudden, no one for them to carry out their bloodline. I know that they may try again. Ah! So sad that wasn't a secret ending. So I gotta shoot them with my shotgun. Dang it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that if I choose to leave, it'll just be the same ending as the first one. But, you always gotta check, you know? Nope, it's the exact same one as the first ending, so I was right. Alright, screw the shotgun, I'm going in. Come here, boy. <laughs> Just a game over. <laughs> it's kinda funny. Alright, I got the shotgun, but no ammo. Let me go now, Tim. <laughs> Unless you want your damn brain splattered all over the walls like I suggest. Let him go. Kick some over. Uh, let's just go, Frank. Oh, really? I don't even need the ammo? Well, I guess the ammo is if I want to, you know, super mega ultra finish him off. Alright, let me go get those bullets and then finish. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can't do that. God damn it, James rubbing it in. Hey there, Papa. Mama, I'm a free lad now. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I just got into a bug. I'm not sure what happened because I kind of skipped through it. But I got the ammo and I came out and now he won't move or anything. It's weird. I don't know what happened there. Very strange. Alright. I'm doing it, baby. I'm doing it. Tim? Nancy? Nancy, you ain't safe. Just because you're not beating anyone up does not mean you're safe. Oh, I just straight up shot him. Did I choose it that fast? I guess I did. Damn, son. And that was it. Tim died. Me and James escaped, but Nancy fled into the woods never to be seen again. I more than likely could have just threatened to shoot Tim. Then me and James just make a break for it. But frankly, I'm glad I went this route. He deserved it.
Surrogate. Oh, that's it? Is there a secret ending here? There has to be a secret ending. Where you get both behind bars. Huh. Because he hinted at that every single other game ending. But for this one, he just straight up shot him. Nancy escaped. Whatevs. Damn. Damn, I don't know this way to get that secret ending. Ah, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright, overall, this was a cool game. I thought it was really awesome. Really love the cinematics, as I mentioned. The artwork were cool. The sound effects and all of that. The music. Awesome. I already mentioned those small little details that I'm hoping will be fixed to uh, get it more up to par. Like with the autosave, the few bugs that we ran into, the zoom in feature. That's all. that's pretty cool. I like it. I really do. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Really. Overall, you guys did a really great job for your first game, so congrats. And to everyone else that's watching, if you would like them to know anything, then be sure to comment it down below. Like the video if you enjoyed, and I will be sure to see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also, check out this game down in the comments below. I mean, not comments, the descriptions down below. Alright, see you in the next one. Till then, later!